Jack, and uh, as I'm sure you can already tell, just by looking at me, I'm a comedy bad boy. <laughs> just last Sunday, I had a whole cannon bear during an episode of Grand Designs. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that while I did not choose the thug life, the thug life did nonetheless choose me in the end. And it chose me because of my high lactose tolerance. <laughs> That's often overlooked in gangster rap. Um, thank you, there's a slow burner on that one. Uh, I like to think of myself as like a white, middle class, educated hood rat, you know? Um, oh, there's a groan over there. Sorry, did I offend you as a hood rat? Um, no, I like to think of myself like that way because like, I didn't graduate from the School of Hard Knocks, but I enrolled there <laughs> until my parents transferred me to a selective high school. <laughs> I know, it's the look. Um, and it, like, one of the things I'm trying to do to cultivate my bad boy reputation is I'm trying to cut down my drinking, because nothing says, I'm a young James Dean, I'm a rebel without a cause, like knowing your limits and admitting that you have a family history of alcoholism. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons I want to cut down my drinking is I'm sick to death of going to shit pubs. You know you do that when you get drunk because uh, nowhere else will let you win. Um, and I was a particularly shit pub recently, one I'm not a fan of, uh, you may know it. I was at the Town Hall Hotel in Newtown. Are you familiar with this establishment? The bloody townie! As it is colloquially known. Uh, you'll never find a more wretched hive of genuine alcoholics and human scum. <laughs> Who me? Fuck the people at the townie. I was at the bar, minding my own business, just completely oblivious to the world around me, when all of a sudden something moved over there, and this necklace middle-aged man just started waddling towards me, his gut leading the charge. And, like, I, I don't know how to describe this guy other than to say, like, when he found out that Holden was closing down, he just held a very private, intimate funeral in his backyard for just him and his V8. And after like an intense, heartfelt eulogy, which incidentally was the first time he cried since his father left, uh, he just observed a minute's silence, punctuated only by the idling of his Commodore, before kneeling down and pressing play on his Victoria Vida Esky with inbuilt speaker system. And the last post play was he just saluted and stared out over the desolate wasteland of his non-holding existence before getting in the car and trying to gas himself in the symbolic grave he dug for Australian car manufacturing. <laughs> so is that a picture of him? He was that guy. And um, the first thing I noticed about him was that he had a tattoo on his arm that just said, STRAYA! S-T-R-A-Y-A. -A. <laughs> STRAYA! CUTS! LOVE IT ALL LEAVE IT! <laughs> so based on first bigoted impressions, I could tell you we were going to be besties. <laughs> wearing a Jim Beam symbol. Now, as it turns out, that should have been a warning sign. Because that's how my natural predators signal themselves in the wild. I'm standing at the bar, I've done nothing to invite contact with this gentleman, when he just turns to me and goes, huh, you're not a bloody regular here, are you, mate? To which I responded, why verily fond peasants. <laughs> But what greater led you to this conclusion? <laughs> to which he replied, and like to his eternal credit, he said this without even missing a beat. He just went, Oh, nothing, mate. I'm just saying, you look like a bit of a gay lord. <laughs> Thank you for the laughter. It doesn't heal the pain. <laughs> homophobic insult, because I feel like it plays a trick on the person who says it, because without them realising it, they're affirming the existence of a secret gay aristocracy. <laughs> I thought it was my pardon, my gay I really like that idea, that the land 
Anglican gentry are now actively catering to the queer community. You know? <laughs> We have a whole litany of hereditary titles exclusively for gay men. <laughs> Not hereditary, obviously. But we have peerages nonetheless. It'd be a veritable Downton Abbey of dick. <laughs> uh, you know, you have like a gay baron, a gay viscount, an earl gay. <laughs> Hated tea but loved cock. <laughs> A gay Marquess, a gay king, and at the very apex of it all, the Lord of the Gays! Behold his civil union, ye mighty, and despair! Now I just want to take a moment to point out that it would have been a lot easier to end a homosexual hierarchy with a queen. It would have been cheap, and it would have been cliché. So instead what I went for was a reference to an 18th century sonnet by renowned romantic poet Percy Shelley. <laughs> In hindsight, was it too obscure? Yes! <laughs> Do I regret it? Yes! Am I going to change it for next time? Fuck no! I'm a comedy bad boy! I've been Jack Bauer, guys. Have a great time. <laughs> talking about people yelling homophobic slurs. I got one yelling at me recently. I was riding my bike in the city. Just mind my own business. Car drove past. Wow, oh, fucking faggot! <laughs> it's a bit rough. Uh, I was, it was nice to get the attention. I was like, man, 